currently booking our trip to London. Good morning, it's 5 a.m. and I've been up since 3. Hello jet lag. <laughs> but it's alright, I don't mind. I feel rested, I feel rejuvenated by sleep and I'm probably going, no, I know for sure I'm going to do yoga now and after yoga I'm always so drowsy so I'm gonna take a nap after that. Right now I just uploaded a video, yay for early mornings and I'm ready to, to do yoga actually. Hello, it's 12 p.m. It was true, after the yoga I took a nap and I slept for like three more hours. Uh, I'm feeling worse actually. <laughs> I have no energy at all. But maybe it's because, you know, maybe it's a TMI, but that time of the month, eh, you know. Mm, right now, ooh, ooh, you didn't see Stefan, right? He's sick. So he's really sad and being all, eh, eh, take care of me, take care of me. <laughs> and he's really cute. I'm trying to make a smoothie after a long time, but um, my magic bullet has been stuttering. I really hope it's going to work. So, let's call this episode, Will It Blend? I don't want to blend them, it's why? Why, why, why? What is wrong with you? Why you not love me anymore? Don't judge me for this disgusting looking breakfast. The magic bullet already broke my heart, so please don't go breaking my heart too. <laughs> right now, Steph and I am, are going to watch today's Pantanal vlog. And I'm so happy I got everything on video. I can just show him everything instead of telling how my week was. So, uh, also when I was traveling, he always watched my vlogs. But we never watched them together and it's so much fun because I can give him like the behind the scenes and the gossip and all that kind of stuff. So, let's do it baby. Let's watch on your phone. Sometimes I'm so sad Stefan doesn't want to be in the vlogs because he is easily one of the, the funniest persons and he's gonna look at me right now. What? I'm the, I am the funniest person you know, but he's he's very very funny and super sarcastic. So the, through the whole vlog, he's just commenting, "Yes, you're about to have lunch, but what you don't know is about to is that you are about to become lunch for the alligators or actually the caimans and then we are at a lookout spot yes you're about to become food for alligators for the crocs and everything in the video he's commenting about the caimans going to eat us because he's so scared of animals <laughs> yes and yes i i realize it does not sound funny when i tell it because I'm not the hilarious one in this relationship, he is. So actually when he tells it, I'm dying of laughter and then I'm like, but I cannot retell that in, in the way you do to make it funny, so sorry. Currently booking our trip to London. Uh, my brother is staying there for three weeks, so I'm going to visit them. And of course we are going to see more of London. I am going by bus because someone recommended this to me as a really good option. Um, it's cheaper than a flight ticket, but that's not my main reason because I think the flight tickets to London are okayish. I just want to try it out because I really like bus travel and I just want to see what it's like and vlog it for you guys. So this one, Euroline's is not sponsoring me. I'm just booking this myself because I want to review it and uh, take you through the process. Yep, got it. And I may have just made a huge mistake or it's all going to work out because when you're watching this today, I'm coming back from Marbella from the Ocean Club party and I... I land at 7.30 p.m. and this bus leaves at 9.30 p.m. So I have two hours in between. If the flight is delayed with one hour, I don't have a problem. But if there is a bigger delay, I do have a problem. Now, I think the price, it's like 50 euros for a return ticket to London, is worth the risk. Because it's an overnight bus and I will arrive tomorrow morning. So follow me on Instagram if you want to see all the pictures in London before the vlogs. I will be arriving in London at 7.30 at Victoria Station and this is one of the main reasons why I really like the bus because I so freaking hate flying to Gatwick and what's the other one? What's the other? Luton? No, there's another one. Whatever. You all, It always takes like 30 minutes to, to, no, like 45 minutes to get into the center of London. And it annoys the hell out of me because already when you're flying, you have to check in an hour, 
an hour before then you're flying and then it takes you still takes you like 45 minutes to get in the center of London I know I understand it's shorter than a night in the bus but I don't know when I arrive in a city I just like I don't know I just hate that train man from the from the airport to the center so um, yeah and then I arrived tomorrow morning Sunday at 7.30 at Victoria Station and I'm going to see Nish again. Yay! We haven't seen each other since May last year. We haven't seen each other for a year. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. <gasps> My brother and me haven't seen each other for almost a year. But we talk to each other all the time, like on WhatsApp and Skype and whatever. So it doesn't feel like that, but it's like, it's mind blowing how fast time flies by. Anyways, who's excited for London? Play the thumbs up, I am. My brother was also asking like, do you want to go to Brighton? Uzuela. <laughs> and or um, Brighton or what are those other cities? I don't know. Anyways, and I was like, nope, I want to go to London because I haven't been in London for so long, like a year and a half or something. But I really, really love London. Right now I'm going to edit the vlog. I was supposed to go to a holy celebration, like the Indian color festival of spring. I think it's that. In Delft, they Delft, I was invited by someone from the Indian Student Association, but honestly, the jet lag is too real. I have too much work to do. We're leaving next week again, so I just skipped it, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, I also have to film a new road back to India this afternoon. That's all right. Just took a shower, still have to do my makeup for the Road Back to India series. And also I'm going to visit the Fufiers tonight in their new home. So I'm very excited about that. Also, I brought, uh, I bought G a present, which is really, really cool. I can show you. Because this vlog is going to be up next week anyway. And he's gonna get it tonight. Wait, how do I? Look, you can already see it. It's a Neko Atsuma sweater and it's really cool if you want to buy it you can buy it on ebay uh i saw it on someone i think on instagram or something and i thought like yeah he's gonna be totally happy with this right now i need to have lunch and i still have one salad left from last night i bought three of them and i thought i could finish them all but these salads are very filling so i could only eat two and i think this one is already okay for lunch or something I can highly recommend. I bought them at the uh, Albert Heijn. Hi, welcome back to this. Hi, welcome back to this Road Back to India episode. Big massive fail. I try to. When is this video going to be up? On Sunday. Yeah, then the Road Back to India episode is already up. I try to apply for a visa and I can't even make the appointment. I don't understand. Also, the battery of this camera is flashing, so I'm going to charge you. I have to go grocery shopping, eat, and then leave for. Uh, chillings with the foos. All right, all set. I got the presents. Let's go to the Hague. He got his gift, triple XL. This is way too awesome. <laughs> Asian, Asian triple XL. Yeah, I knew you would love this. Hello, the panda. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, I really no, hope no. it fits. It's it looks so a little cute. bit small. <laughs> yeah. Try it on. Try it on. Yeah. Looks good on you. You look buff now. Yes, you do oh. actually. <laughs> Look what I got! It's many. How am I supposed to work on my six pack? Damn it! This is too good. <laughs> I'm going to go for Shazam. 